Hey y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all. <clears throat> my delivery driver just made my day. Just made my whole day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robert, hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, he comes to the door and I have my light set up already. Uh, I have a Thai barbecue, by the way. Uh, oh my goodness. And it's quite a lot of food, but anyway, you know, he, he asked, you know, are you, you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, what's your channel? And I said, Hungry Fat Chick. And he says, oh, you better change that to, to Hungry Pretty Chick. <laughs> oh, that was very sweet. Uh, needless to say, I bumped Robert's tip up just a bit. <laughs> okay, that was very sweet. <laughs> and as he was walking away, like down the down the walkway, he was like, "You better change that." <laughs> I was like, uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> oh. But so these things still happen to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ouch. I just ordered one Penang curry. And they gave me two. Okay. Not complaining about that. Okay. Hmm. Oh well the first thing he said when he came to the door, he says you're got to be eating good. This food smells wonderful. I was like, yes, Thai barbecue. It's good stuff. <laughs> That's good stuff. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's my top tea. <laughs> yes, I'm doing the unboxing. <laughs> what's happening over here <clears throat> oh that's the management for the apartment complex oh no water shut off on the east side only tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 2 2 p.m. Lord I need my water well I'm gonna set my clock <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm silencing my phone. <clears throat> no more interruptions, you guys. Oh, okay. So I got Penang curry, and I didn't order rice. I guess the rice comes with the Penang curry. <clears throat> comes with it. But y'all know, I mean, every time I order Thai food, it's always, always Penang Curry. It's just my freaking favorite. Just my favorite. 
I love it. I mean, and I like other curries, other Thai type curries. That uh, Masaman, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but kind of how it's spelled. <laughs> if not, I like that okay. I like red curry, green curry, yellow curry, all of that stuff, but for some reason, the peanut butter coconut kind of vibe that the Penang curry gives, it's my favorite. <clears throat> oh, they might have forgot something. I ordered <clears throat> extra peanut sauce and I got a large peanut sauce because the last time I ordered <clears throat> Thai barbecue, I got my beef satay and there was no peanut sauce, you know, and let's see, okay. Oh, and I don't really even need the rice, but I'm, of course, gonna use it for something. Um, <clears throat> I'll cook something. And I'm proud of myself. Yesterday, and I have leftovers, so I could've just done a leftovers. Oh, oh my God. There's the peanut sauce. I was gonna be mad. I was gonna be mad. Okay. All right, I'll get this all opened up. <clears throat> I'm trying to like get all the any throwaway stuff. Actually, look at these little tiny, teeny, tiny utensils. And I feel bad doing this. And I didn't order utensils because I've got crap tons of utensils on my cart, on my rolling cart over there. Um. <clears throat> So these are just, will just take up space. All right, I'm gonna put that on the floor. Uh, I may need to go get a plate or something. <clears throat> y'all just time stamp it for me. When do I start eating? Cause y'all, y'all don't wanna hear me talk, I guess. Y'all don't care. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay. Man, my cousin, Aletha, she turned me on to this book about a week ago, not, not even quite a week ago, uh, called <clears throat> The Idea of You by uh, Robin Lee, I believe is the name. Robin, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. And I'm tearing this stuff off. I'll put this on the floor. there and um, basically it's about a middle-aged woman mother divorcee she takes her daughter to this uh, concert this uh, boy band concert and um, and one of the guys from the from the boy band they start flirting back and forth and they end up like in this relationship so far. I mean, it's just, it's like, kind of mind boggling, but no. <clears throat> These things happen. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, those are really pretty. I should take some video of this for you guys. Oh, man, so there's, I did get two. I got them both. Oh no, I didn't. That's the the. They have the little cucumber salad thingy. Oh, these are so pretty. So pretty. Oh man. Yeah, I better do some video. Anyway, I'm gonna. I've got some uh, Thai barbecue ribs over here. 
Let me just open this stuff up. I know y'all are getting, y'all are like, the hell are you doing, woman? <laughs> I'll open stuff up and I'll, I'll be right back. Pause. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just rambling. Rambling. Rambling crazy. I should just leave this shit in. Damn it. Okay, open. All right. Ooh, I'm glad my, my curry's hot. Man, my curry's hot. Cause it's taking me a while. Oh, those are pretty. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Ooh, smells delicious. Delicious. I'm, I'm in a weird mood now. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've had delivery drivers kind of, you know, compliment me before. I mean, and Mr. Robert there, at some point he says, you are a beautiful woman. I mean, in, in the whole, I'm just, it, it's like, I can't, I can't say word for word for word everything he said, but it's like certain phrases like stuck in there. Like, oh. you know, but, but another thing though, you know, when, when, you know, people self-identify as fat, you know, like, yeah, I'm fat. And somebody will come back, and I know they mean well, and they say, you're not fat, you're beautiful. That's always bothered me. And I know they mean it as a compliment, but it's like, yeah, being fat doesn't necessarily equate to being ugly. And, and, you know, in my opinion. I mean, you know, people who, who are, I mean, there are people who are absolutely disgusted by fat people. I mean, the comment section, you know, it's evident. <laughs> but, you know, you know, I'm fat. I never thought I was ugly. But I appreciate the sentiment anyway. <laughs> I really, I do. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know where to start here. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna put this curry over there. <clears throat> this one right here, and I'm gonna open it. Oh, I love these little containers, though. <clears throat> Even though they have a little hole poked in the center. Which I don't think this one does, actually. Am I? I can't tell. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks good. <clears throat> I got the beef penang. Oh, man. I see bell peppers. Um... Ooh, kefir lime leaves. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. <clears throat> Little cucumbers and jalapenos and onions, which I take out the jalapenos and onions, <laughs> but I eat the cucumbers and drink the juice. Oh, it's 14 minutes in. I haven't started eating. You know, maybe not quite 14, but what are you going to do? Peanut sauce. Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. I have the white rice over here. I'm going to, um, you know what? Let me put the white rice to the side <clears throat> because I've got with the the beef satay dinner 
comes a shrimp fried rice and that's all I'll need for this <clears throat> okay now I really am gonna pause because I want to do some video for you guys okay pause okay <laughs> uh, okay release release so y'all can tell I'm in a good mood now. I mean, I was already in a good mood. But, <clears throat> you know, having a total stranger, you know, not just on the internet, but in, in, in real life, you know, smiling at you, giving you eye contact, and telling you that you're a beautiful woman, I mean, that's a boost. That's always a boost, so... Uh, Thai tea. Ooh, it's strong today. It's like the, hopefully the, the creamy stuff. It's like, oh, it's creamy, but the tea is very strong. So, okay, and I'm gonna put my. Oh, I just spilled some of the juice. Mmm. I'm gonna put my peanut sauce right there and I'm going to start with the beef satay mmm let me uh, oh oh peanut sauce mmm 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 oh my goodness Okay, back to that book. <laughs> the idea of you. Mm. I was very thankful to my cousin for recommending it. She said, she said, <laughs> she read it twice, like in a row. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. And of course, I got the audiobook, and the author herself is reading the book. <clears throat> mm. And apparently, um, well, the boy band is is British, mm. and she does all the voices. She reads the book. She's doing all the accents. Let me make sure I got her name right. Yeah, Robin Lee, and it's it's Robin with two ends and an E at the end. Beautiful. <laughs> oh man, oh, that is so good. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, hi. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. And they may have turned the spice up. Mm. Wow. 
They didn't give like a spice level. Oh goodness. Oh my gosh. This curry is heavenly. Mm. Some weird noises going on out there. Mm. Like, is that a child screaming? Hmm. Okay, I gotta get my hands in there. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. 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 The beef is very tender and kind of fatty too. Y'all know I like the fatty beef. Mmm. And that little bit of the, the rice with it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's delicious. Kind of spicy, just a little spicy, but I'm tasting the lime in there. Mm. 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 The coconut, the bell pepper. I don't know if y'all hear that. <laughs> oh, man. In their Thai fried rice. Mm. So flavorful. Mm. I wish I could describe the flavors to you, but I draw a blank. <laughs> it's like, what adjectives? <laughs> nose with the spice it's like very warm it's just a warm comforting feeling that I'm getting from this food what is this oh that's some egg okay <laughs> oh what is that mmm Fatty beef is velvety in my mouth. And the spice level, yeah, it's just very warm and oh, very warm and cozy feeling. Mm. Oh, mercy. Ooh, okay. Now, this little bit of sauce stuff, I don't even know what that's supposed to be good for, but I'm going to open it so it's there. And 
And I'm gonna grab one of these ribs, which they're very, very like tender. And they're gonna like really fall off the bone, but Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh my God. Mmm. I usually get their barbecue chicken, but the last few times I got the the ribs, I was just like so blown away. Now this, this little pink, red pink sauce, it's super sweet. Mm. And again, the actual flavor kind of escapes me. Other than being sweet and very, it's not fruity. It's not a fruity flavor, I don't believe. If it is, it's not a fruit I've ever had. Mmm. Mmm. is so good it's like my favorite Thai restaurant mm. which it's very like chain it's very like fast food chain Thai food but it's very consistent usually mm. 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 very consistent it always kind of tastes the same and I like that you know <laughs> my favorite thing is always going to be the Penang curry though always <laughs> mm. and sometimes the satay the, you know the dark edges sometimes they're a little bit too charred so sometimes I like I'm a little put off but most of it is really good <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Again, this is a whole lot of food, but mm. this is one of those places that I can't order just one thing from there because I love almost everything. And I really had to like fight myself not to get the chicken too. Hmm. Ooh. But obviously I will have leftovers for tonight and tomorrow. Mm. Oh, I was telling y'all that I cooked the other night. Last night. Well, yesterday, not last night. Mmm. Y'all know that, um, the little burrito enchilada casserole that was going around on TikTok? Well, I had some frozen burritos, a bag of frozen burritos in my freezer that I've been meaning to do this for a while. Um, and the whole situation with the gate, 
is really annoying. Mm. 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 Because to get the gate code, I have to get someone's phone number. It makes deliveries very difficult. Um, so <coughs> I either have to order food before 4 p.m. And y'all know I'm barely awake before most days. Either I have to order food before 4 p.m. Or get someone's phone number in. I, th I don't think that's, that's not cool. You don't want to ask a delivery person for their phone number. I mean, that's just weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yesterday I cooked. And basically it was just frozen burritos at the bottom and I made a mistake I should have put some of the enchilada sauce on the bottom as well as you know should have sprayed and then put the enchilada sauce down because my burrito still stuck a little bit not too bad but and it really didn't matter <laughs> but once you line your burritos up and it was eight burritos six and then two uh, on the side to fill it out and then you put the enchilada sauce all over it and then cheese all over it <laughs> very freaking simple you know and it didn't take me any time at all so I was proud of myself for doing that I really was I mean you know <laughs> I don't know I'm paying for it today a little bit because, you know, my hip's really freaking angry. But when is it not? <laughs> um, so, you know, I put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Mm. Came out looking beautiful. And it was good. I mean, I, I took half, put it on my plate. Put some sour cream down. Mm. Um. After I was finished, a little bit later in the evening, took a little break from watching stuff and and um went to the bathroom. Did you know? Did that kind of thing. Mm. And on the way back, I put my leftovers in a container. And washed my dishes. <laughs> it was cleaned up. I didn't leave anything sitting out. And before I came to sit back down, I fixed myself a big glass of iced coffee. <laughs> so I know I can. <clears throat> and it's not so much that I thought I couldn't. It's just the anxiety of knowing that doing these things, just anything, is gonna cause me extra pain. So the anxiety kinda like, you know, puts the brakes on for me, like doing anything. <laughs> but it's like the only way I'm gonna get better is if I just do it. I'm gonna dip my, I'm gonna dip my shrimp in the peanut sauce. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. Mm. So I have those leftovers in the fridge. Mm. And they'll be good for a few days, maybe a week even. Mm. Mm. But I'll have these leftovers for tomorrow. Which there might be a lot more leftovers. There might be there might be leftovers for tomorrow and the next day possibly because that's all I ate yesterday was four burritos and some sour cream well four burrito chaladas I guess you could call them <laughs> but they were cheap burritos next time I do something like that maybe I'm gonna buy like individually wrapped burritos and see god them noises here is insane <laughs> keep hearing some 
either like a whistle or a scream. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, but oh, what is that? Mmm. Mm. Oh, it was a piece of egg from my fried rice. But yeah, so I've got burrito chiladas left over. Mmm. Mm. For another day. But that's Mm. I was gonna say that's all I ate yesterday. That's not true. Before bed, I ate some marshmallows. I've been eating marshmallows for the last two nights for my snack. <laughs> Cause I have them. I was gonna make uh, like Rice Krispie treats, but I ate my cereal last week because I needed something sweet. And that's all I had. I haven't, I still haven't bought the groceries. I still haven't bought the groceries because I keep going in there and I keep adding and subtracting like snacks. <laughs> it's like, you don't need the snacks, Candy. You don't need it. Oh, man. They have the, the cordial, the Queen Anne cordial cherries. They have the cream in them. The cellas or cellas, cellas, whatever, they don't have any cream. They just have the juice. Um, but I like the ones with the with the cream and the juice, <laughs> the cherry, the cream, and the juice. Mmm, those are good. And they're uh, two for seven dollars. So I was gonna get a, a box of the dark chocolate and a box of the milk chocolate. And I'm I'm like I'm fighting myself really hard. Like you don't need it. You don't need it. So, I ate about five marshmallows last night, uh, but I was doing good because I, I cooked late, I ate late, and I was full, you know, so, you know, not still not the healthiest meal, but it was good. So, my appetite is not incredibly huge lately, so I'm trying to, like, use that because if I eat late enough, and I go to bed early enough, <laughs> you know, and I don't sleep for like 12 hours a day or 12 hours a night either because I might go to my bedroom around midnight, between midnight and two. Um, but I don't really sleep that much. I mean, I do. <laughs> this is tough. That was one of the pieces off the end. That's a little tough. Um... You know, I'll sleep for a few hours and I have to get up and go to the bathroom. That happens a lot in the night. Mm, that's hard. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. That end piece was a little tough, so. Mm. Yeah, I'm complaining. Mm. Delicious. But I'm gonna be choo choo chewing. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm up and down. I, I get up probably three, three, four times in the course of the night and during the day. So total, I get maybe eight to ten hours on a really good night. You know, uh, last week. I was having a problem going to sleep, so I was up really late, some like around five. But anywhere between four and six, I would find myself going to bed. And I would be getting up around two. Yeah. <laughs> so, with the broken sleep, I was probably getting five hours. That's not good. Women need, like physically need, eight to ten hours because of hormones and stuff uh apparently i was i was watching some kind of doctor commenting on something or other and he was he was saying this that women need eight to ten hours men don't need this much because their their bodies produce hormones from their testes <laughs> what good for them <laughs> but women they need to sleep for their body to 
you know, produce the hormones that they're that they need. Okay, I'm eating more of this. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Get more juice. So I feel so much better when I get my full sleep. <laughs> Last night I didn't do as good. Um time oh, was I actually going to bed? It was probably around four or something last night. And then I was up kind of early. Early for me. It's like one o'clock. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I got to get up and. Order something delicious. Before they close the gate. <laughs> Which I'm very thankful that they're fixing the whole gate system. Because having the gate open, like the exit gate open, not good. You know, we were getting a lot of riffraff in here and, you know, like, poor Becky was scared to death when <laughs> she heard all the gunshots here. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. No, definitely need to start closing the gates. Oh, they even have like a key card for the pedestrian gate. Pedestrians after dark can't get in unless they have, you know, uh, and to get a pedestrian gate card, you have to give your ID. So you get the card, you're, you know, they know who's coming and going. Mm. Same thing for the main gate. Mm. Basically, if I have a guest coming, I'll send a link to their phone that's good for like 12 hours I think so they know who's coming in and who invited you so if somebody gets in trouble in here and they weren't invited in or whatever I mean well they would have been invited by somebody <laughs> they belong to somebody <laughs> troublemakers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my lord. Oh. oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. That rubs a little charred up too. Mmm. <laughs> back around <laughs> you know that's something about me I know y'all probably have noticed that I don't ever talk in a straight line I'm like I'm over here I'm over there I'm over there I'm everywhere <laughs> it's always been the case with me I'm I talk in a zigzag <laughs> mm. but so I'm using my appetite issues as well as the later I sleep in the day uh, I manage I can eat like one major meal and maybe one little snack later before bed so I'm hoping I can I can use that to my advantage oh, I want to eat some more of this I really 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 do Just get another little bite of rice with some curry on it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. My favorite.
favorite thing. Oh. Mm. Okay, all done. Can't eat any more of that. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Oh, that's super spicy. Now I'm gonna try to dig all the. Where's the fork? Here's the fork. Try to dig all the onions out. Oh, I don't like the onions. I don't like them. <gasps> Dang it. I just poured the juice on me. Shoot. Well, this dress is only getting worn once anyway, and I'm just going to go in the, in the laundry. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> That's the second time I poured the juice on myself. <laughs> Dang it, Candy. I want to drink that juice. It's like a kind of a sweet vinegar juice. <clears throat> Is there any more? Yeah, there's more onion. I only saw one. Oh, wait a minute. Another piece of jalapeno. Okay. All right, it's all cucumbers. Mm. So you can still kind of taste the onion and a little bit of spice from the jalapeno. Mm. But it's kind of like a sweet vinegar. I don't even know what kind of vinegar. Mm. Mm. So it's like almost pickles. Mmm. Mmm. you guys if you have a Thai barbecue in your area and you like the look of any of this definitely give it a try uh, and these ribs even though a couple of the end pieces were a little bit tough the majority of the ribs are very like tender like like super tender oh stop it candy really good now you don't have that problem with the chicken the chicken just like falls to pieces so good but my obvious favorite thing is the Penang curry and the the Thai fried rice and I do love my satay my beef satay chicken satay is good too if you're a chicken person mm. but I like cow <laughs> I've got cow and pig represented here. <laughs> mm. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, I love you very much, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye now. <laughs>